Hey, you guys, welcome back to Crazy Quilt and Crafts with S.E.K. All right, family, so I know this fabric looks very familiar to you guys, and this is from, I think it is Red Works Gathering. And you guys know I did uh, several blocks called the Turnabout Block, and these are the scraps from the Turnabout Blocks. So I'm calling these my orphan blocks. So, uh, you know, there's a technique that you can do when you are sewing your blocks together and doing your half square tri triangles where you can actually do a double sew and split your half triangles and also have an extra triangle, half square triangle. And that's how I winded up with so many of these triangles, which are, they were about the size, I would say about uh, three inches by three inches and I was able to square these up by two two by twos so um I learned during this process how to do the hunter star and the hunter star is similar to the eight point star it's um super easy on how to set it up I really challenged myself doing these um four blocks um, I was able to exercise several different types of techniques as far as lining up the points. And you guys know I don't like small blocks, but I challenged myself because I definitely want to strengthen my quilting skills. So I said, why not do um, some smaller blocks, use up my extra um, leftover fabric and do some um, hunter, hunter's, hunter's blocks. I think I'm saying it right. Hold on one second, you guys. So that's what I was able to accomplish here. And again, I exercised several techniques and lining up my points in different areas, which came out really good. I think when you are dealing with smaller blocks, smaller blocks definitely slow you down. They will slow you down because you want to get, you know, your points on point as much as possible. You also will strengthen um your uh pressing techniques whether you're pressing um open seams or you're pressing in one direction according to the pattern i think as i continue my journey into this quilt world i'm probably going to be an open seam presser so that i don't even have to worry about whether um i need to press to my left or my right or to the color away from the lighter color fabric because they always teach you to press towards the dark fabric. So if you don't remember, it's probably best that you just become an open seam, <laughs> whatever they call it, like open seam. So we're like right here. I mean, I'm presser where you just press and open up your seams and press them apart from each other. That might be the way to go for some people. Everybody has their own way of pressing. Everybody has their own way of joining their points, but um, the the technique that I did use as far as lining up the points was with the um, uh, pins and sticking it right through and connecting your other fabric so that you can have that nesting on point. So again, when you are working with the smaller blocks, they will slow you down. They will strengthen your skills. And remember not to throw away any of your scraps because you definitely can make some beautiful um, blocks um, with scraps. So this, again, is from my red um, gathering. And you guys, I'm definitely leaning towards uh, making this a runner. So I will be sashing um, these um, four blocks to separate them and also doing a border to go around. I'm just undecided on what fabric I'm going to use right now. And um, it would definitely be complementing the other blocks that I, I did create. Um, let me get the name of those. The turnabout block. So it they will um, complement each other with um, the similar fabric from the same line. So I still have to complete that project, the turn block, um, turnabout block project. And I probably will complete that maybe during my summer months. But if not, I will definitely go into my later summer months in my early fall to get that completed. So uh, I still have to get more fabric so that I can do my sashing on that as well. So I'm looking forward to how this is going to come together. Also, 
I still have another bundle of Fat 8 that I want to get to as well to create something um, with the same um, line of, of colors, um, same fabric, everything. It's the same thing. Um, it's just another pack of Fat 8. So who knows? I may learn another block and create something with the other pack that I do have. But until then, this is what I am working with as far as my orphan blocks. So, you guys tell me what y'all think. This is my first, um, my first, uh, block like this. I think it is. It's actually similar, very similar to another block that I did. And I'm going to double check on that because it's very, very similar to another block. Yeah, I'm going to double check on that. All right, family, so this is S.E.K., and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Make sure you guys thumbs up, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button, and I will see you guys real soon. Peace.